Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interested in today's video. TSMC holds high-end chip manufacturing process and a large amount of production capacity, which makes global customers seek TSMC for cooperation. However, the competitive environment facing TSMC is becoming more and more complicated. Samsung is already improving the 3 nanometers yield rate and has also won the support of several customers. Intel's chip foundry business has also won cooperation with seven major chip giants. However, TSMC only knows to go to the United States to build factories. What problems does TSMC encounter? Rivals accelerate competition. How does TSMC respond? TSMC faces big competition problems. In the chip foundry industry, TSMC has always been the leader. In the past 30 years, no giant has completely surpassed TSMC. This is because TSMC needs technology and production capacity, and TSMC knows how to compete. In contrast, chip manufacturers such as Samsung and Intel not only manufacture chips for customers, but also have their own chip products. It is equivalent to cooperating with customers on one side and competing on the other. When customers hand over confidential chip design drawings to them, it is inevitable that they will have other considerations. However, there is no such problem in cooperation with TSMC. TSMC does not participate in the competition in the chip consumer market and only does foundry business so that customers can cooperate with confidence. Because of this, TSMC can maintain its number one position in the industry. However, some foreign media said that TSMC has a big problem. This problem is that competitors have begun to use their own methods to grab customers from TSMC, and the effect is remarkable. If customer resources are taken away, TSMC's hardworking chip production line may be in vain. Let's look at Samsung first. Samsung is TSMC's biggest competitor and the only manufacturer that can keep up with TSMC's manufacturing process. Even at 3 nanometers, Samsung is one step ahead of TSMC and completed mass production in June this year. However, due to the problem of low yield rate, Samsung has not had much customer support since mass production of 3 nanometers. Winning customer order cooperation is the key to winning 3 nanometers. In order to solve the problem of yield rate, Samsung took active actions and cooperated with the American company Silicon Frontline Technology to demand a solution to improve yield rate. Perhaps there is an effect. On November 23rd, Korean media reported that Samsung 3 nanometers has won the cooperation of Qualcomm, NVIDIA, Baidu, IBM and other companies, and will use Samsung 3 nanometers process to produce chips. It can be seen that Samsung will not give up the 3 nanometers competition easily. Although TSMC 3 nanometers has a good yield rate, the cost is too high. It is reported that TSMC's foundry quotation for each 12-inch wafer of 3 nanometers is 20,000 US dollars, which once again refreshed the foundry quotation record. In order to pursue cost, customers will most likely choose a diversified layout. At that time, TSMC's customers may find Samsung to cooperate. As an alternative, they can also grasp the bargaining power. Next, look at Intel. Intel is increasing the layout of the chip foundry business. Like TSMC and Samsung, it will undertake the foundry of customers. 
Although Intel's chip manufacturing business has been quiet for a while, it is a world-class giant after all, and it still has a deep foundation. Moreover, Intel is backed by the United States to provide support, and all aspects can be better guaranteed. Intel has set a clear foundry goal, and plans to become the world's second-largest chip foundry giant in 2030 and promote the two major processes of 20A and 18A around 2025. These processes are benchmarked against TSMC's 2 nanometers process. If Intel achieves mass production and customers have more choices, TSMC will not be the only one. It doesn't even need to be in the future, Intel is currently wooing TSMC's customers to cooperate. According to Intel, it has already cooperated with seven of the top 10 semiconductor companies in the world. The key point is that almost all of these cooperative companies are major customers of TSMC, such as Qualcomm, Nvidia, AMD, and so on. Rivals accelerate competition, how does TSMC respond? Intel has also repeatedly stated that it hopes to get orders from Apple. As TSMC's largest customer, if Apple also leaves, TSMC will really encounter big problems. TSMC is immersed in going to the United States to build a factory and never returns. It transports equipment and talents from the headquarters area to the U.S. factory, and plans to further build a 3 nanometers production line. TSMC put all its belongings up, but did not realize that the United States has been trying to get rid of its dependence on TSMC. The United States is trying to reduce TSMC's influence in the chip manufacturing industry by supporting the rise of Intel, and at the same time allow TSMC to provide assistance for the localization of American chips. At that time, TSMC will face more variables, coupled with the accelerated competition from competitors, TSMC has only one way to deal with it, and that is to always maintain its technological advantage. Technological advantage is TSMC's biggest trump card. Customers cooperate with TSMC because of their leading technology. If TSMC can ensure technological leadership and continue to lead the industry after the limit of Moore's law, TSMC may have a long-term future. TSMC has a big problem. Samsung and Intel are all competing for TSMC's customer orders. TSMC invests tens of billions of dollars in capital expenditure every year. Because there is no other consumer product business, customer orders are the only source of income. How TSMC grasps customers depends on TSMC itself. What do you think about this? Welcome to leave a message below to share. Thank you for your watching.